like to welcome everybody into the studio studio today. We've got the legendary <laughs> state champion head coach, Mr. Paul Williams. Appreciate you. Yes, Thank sir. you. Yes, sir. But today uh, we want to talk about Demarius uh, Thomas Day coming up uh, July 16th. Yeah. So, Coach, I'm going to let you take him here. Tell, okay. us, tell us what we got going on. All right. We, we got it coming up uh, next Saturday at Southern Pines. Uh, we're hoping everybody will come out. Uh, you know, we have to understand the reason why we're doing it. It's in honor of uh, Demarius Thomas, right. which we know that he meant so much to this community. There was probably hundreds of thousands of things that he did that nobody ever knew that he, that he did in Lawrence right. County because that's just who he was. He didn't want anybody to know. And, you know, like I was telling you earlier, you know, he gave me and my wife a separate count, kids that needed something. We would go get it, and I mean, you know, they never knew it was from Demarius Thomas. Right. And there's a there's all kinds of stories I could tell, but bro, you know, I don't think we have enough time. We'll probably okay. be in until twelve o'clock tonight. <laughs> but I could talk about him that long. But but there's all kinds of things that he did for this community. Uh, you know, we did the turkey drive when I was mm -hmm. at uh, Dublin High School, and uh, you, you know, he just did all kinds of stuff that nobody knew. And just the person that he was, you know, the stories out now, the all the deeds that he did all over the world. You know, I. I thought I was the only one that he loved, and, and my family was the only one that he took care of and mm -hmm. took special, you know, took special care of them, and and you know just showed them generosity. But guess what? There's a there's a whole lot of families in the United States that he did the same thing that he right. did to the, you know the families here in in Lawrence County. But Lawrence County is his home, and uh, but but we're just trying to honor Demarius Thomas Day and. It's time for Lawrence County to give back, mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. Right. It's time for us to give back. And the thing about it, you're going to give back, and, 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 and the whole deal is uh, you're not going to really get anything out of it. And, and that's what living's all about. That's what Demarius stood for. Uh, you know, like I told you earlier, he, he told me at one point, uh, you know, it's not really the championships, the wins, the money, the cars. It's about who do you share it with. Right. And uh, he's like, he also told me at, a, at some point, this is how we talked on the phone as we got as I got older and he got a little bit older, but, but he would say, you know, it's like family, friends, and associates. It's, it's not that you love them, but do they know that you love them? Mm -hmm. And so I think Lawrence County is our time to give back uh, Saturday. Just show up, show up, because the only thing Demarius wanted was to be loved and he wanted people to smile, that, that's it. So if you could come out Saturday, come with a lot of love, one love, that was his saying, yep. one love, and let's come out and let's just, Let's, let's meet and greet, and, and let's come out in his honor because he definitely deserves it. Right. Coach, he really did. He gave back so much to the community. And now, I mean, it's time for us to, to return the favor in a, in a way. I mean, just yes. to give. Um, talk more about how much he just gave to the, to the community. Give us a few more examples if you got them. Yeah, well, I've just got one story. I'm not going to call any names, but uh, uh, like I say, he put, a, he put a separate camp for me and my wife. Yeah, yeah. And uh, around Christmas time, there was a, a young child, and they go, went around the, you know, the, the room, and they asked, what are you getting for Christmas? Mm -hmm. One kid basically said, you know, I'm not getting anything. And they was like, why not? And I don't believe in Santa Claus, which fourth graders, you know, that's a sad deal. You're right. And he was just like, I don't, I, you know, I never get anything from Santa Claus. And, uh, you know, at points, like, situations like that, with me and my, my wife and I would, you know, call baby and say, hey, man, we got this situation. Mm -hmm. And he, he basically said with this situation, I'm going to take over this situation. Yeah. And when he took over, I mean, bikes, uh, PlayStations, the whole deal. And, uh, but the kid never knew it was, uh, you, know, and never, you know, they never knew it was baby. But uh, that, the Christmas morning, they woke up and, and told the little kid, said, yeah, Santa Claus is came. And he said, no, Santa Claus never come. You need to come look. And the, just the, the look on that kid's face to see and believe in Santa Claus. And, you know, but as the Demarius Thomas stayed out of that picture. Mm -hmm. And, you know, most of us, we would want to be, you know, that's me. Yeah. I did that. But, but he wasn't that type of guy. But I, I think it's time for us, for the community to come out this Saturday and say, hey, this is for you because I promise you he will be looking and, 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 and he will know like the stories I've told you yeah. earlier of right. things going on in my life. You, you, you know, I definitely believe that, that he, he will see us and he will see what Lawrence County is doing for him. And it's just one day, one day out of the year that we're asking that you come out and show your love and support. And uh, we have a balloon, you know, in, in the air and everything and uh, seven on seven. And we have some food and, uh, you know, stuff like that. But it's really not about all that. Mm -hmm. This is just about you showing up, stopping, stopping what you're doing in your daily routine and give an hour, two hours, three hours in, in, in honor of Demarius Thomas. Right. Yeah, we just want to come out. 
Uh, show love to the guy who oh, gave back so much to us. Coach, it's a uh, Bay Bay Day this Saturday, but it's, I mean, we've had camps and um, a Bay Bay fun day oh, yeah. in the past without Bay Bay. Well, with Bay Bay, excuse me. But this is going to be the uh, first oh. one without. Uh, yeah, it's going to be rough. Uh, yeah. yeah, tell us about it. I mean, I, I choke up. I had to get myself together. You don't have yeah. any tissues. Do you? We might grab well, We might take a break. I mean, because it's been very emotional. It's been rough. Uh, you know, I thought I could get a grasp on it, but, you know, only only God is the only one that's, uh, you know, is, is and of course, family is, is keeping me strong through this situation. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be real rough. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, I contemplated about even going. Right. And I was like, you know, I just can't do it. You know, I put on his camps every year. And, you know, the, the, this is probably my, you know, this is probably my funnest time of the year. I got finished with summer basketball, and then it, I knew it was Bay Bay's camp, and we talked throughout the week, which mm -hmm. I love. I used to text him, call him about five or seven, five out of seven days out of the week through our livelihood. And, and uh, you know, I would talk to him, and he, we would laugh and cut up on the phone. i say it sold out, and he'd be like, <laughs> dang, Boogie, there's going to be a lot of kids. And <laughs> we got it. We can do it. And he would tell me the players, Emmanuel Sanders, and all these guys. Right. Even one year he thought, oh, Peyton Manning's going to come, Bob Miller, but it didn't work out. Right. But we were going to surprise everybody. So I think you was a part of that camp, and so was. that, that would have been great. Yeah. And, I mean, up until the deadline, we thought Peyton was going to come. And, and, and then the after event where we all, you know, I, I think you came a couple times after event where we fed the, the, the coaches and everything, right. Emmanuel Sanders, Nesbitt, and all those guys. And, and you know, and, and we always talked, and, you know, he would always hug me. And, you know, the sad part was when he was leaving, you know. So, <clears throat> so. It, it's going to be a little different, and it's going to be different in that he's not, even though I say this, he's not going to be there, but he will be there. Mm -hmm. Trust me. He, he will be there. He, and, you know, sometimes as Christians, we, we, we get, we're spoiled and, and we're, we're selfish. We want Damaris to be there. Mm -hmm. uh, we all want Damaris to be there. I want him to be there, just one chance, but he, he will be there, and he's in a better place. Uh, right. I know he's in heaven. Everybody knows his story, and Everybody knows he's right with Jesus Christ, and you know he, he's in heaven. He's in a better place than me and you are at. So understand, he won't he won't be there physically, but he will be there spiritually. So his mm -hmm. presence will be there, and and uh, you know it's going to be it's going to be rough. Uh, but like I say, we got to pray about it, and we got to keep God close to our heart. And I and, and I know you know God's going to get a lot of us through this this day on Saturday. Right, Coach, you and Demarius, yeah, you always seem to have a special relationship you were just telling me off the camera how um even back in middle school uh you were talking with Demarius and uh you know helping out Demarius you know back then did you always know you know this kid's got it like he's going to be oh, yeah. something special he's a special uh, kid yeah I knew him from the famous Dudley Gym I knew he had mm -hmm. it you know that's where I met Demarius right. at Dudley Gym and nine to ten years old and you know the story goes uh you know he wanted to play so bad he shoot on one end and we were playing he shoot on the <laughs> other end I would fuss at him and you know, call him names. I was a little different back then. I just got out of college, and I, I, that's what I look forward to three days out of the week. And I, I even told him, little guy, you're going to get hurt. And, mm -hmm. But he would just always smile at me, which really made me even made me mad inside because I was like, you know, at least talk back to me so I can not like yeah. you. And he would just <laughs> smile at me. And then the one day we had where he, uh, you know, we didn't have enough, and he would always, I can see him right now on that wooden bench at Delhi Gym yeah. with that ball in his hand. And, uh, the guys called me. We had some guys that worked on a shift, and mm -hmm. that's the guys I played with. And they was like, hey, we're going to be a little bit late. And Damaris was on my every word. And I was like, I looked at him and said, uh, all right, now listen to me. You're going to be on my team now. And he was still smiling. I said, but if you mess up, I'm kicking you off. I'm going to play with four players. I mean, he was 9 or 10 years old. Uh -huh. So the first play, I go set You know basketball. You right. know, stand out at West Lawrence. And so I go, I go set a pick and roll for him. And I said, I hope he throws it away. I hope he jacks it up. And he does, you know basketball, two dribbles, gives me a bounce pass. And before I even look, it's in my hands, and I lay the ball up left-handed. And I'm telling myself as I'm running back down that way, don't look at him. But I look at him, he had that big smile like he always did. Yeah. And, you know, the, our relationship started there three days out of the week. And then when I, I, I taught P at the high school and history at the middle school, I go down the first day of school, I'm teaching history. And I'm going to my history class, and I look down the hallway, and there's a little line going to lunch because I would teach at the middle school after lunch. Well, it's Demaris Thomas. And he says, there's my coach. And I think he might have called me Boogie back then because that's what everybody called me, uh, my nickname. And, and middle school teacher was like, who is Boogie? You call him Mr. Williams. 
And he just looked at me and smiled. And so I caught myself getting everybody dressed at West Lawrence High School early for PE mm -hmm. so I could go down and teach history. You can, that doesn't equal out too right, much. Yeah, yeah. And I started taking him to the, I asked the teacher, I said, do you mind if I just get him right before lunch, 10 minutes, and talk to him in the media center? And we talked about everything in life. And I knew he was something special. And I told him, I said, you're going to be great. I, his nickname was The Future because I knew he was going to be the future. Mm -hmm. And he wrote that on his shoes at West Lawrence, uh, you know, the year I went to Camden and went to the game when he beat Dublin. And he called me and said, you got to come. And he hit the game when he shot, had the future on his shoes. So it's always been a connection. It seemed like something happened to me, something happened to him, you know. And even when I, I had back surgery, I'm calling him, and he's giving me information how to be better, how to deal with it. Then he tears his ACL. I'm actually calling him from a hospital bed in my mm -hmm. room, and I see him being, you know, uh, he's, he's going off the field on a cart. And I actually call him and, and asked him, was he okay? And his exact words, I'm just trying to be like you. <laughs> and I said, he said, I love you. And, you know, but I'm, I'm watching him on television. I mean, he's, he's, he just went to the dress, you know, the locker room or whatever. Right. And he, I could tell something because he tried to get up. Mm -hmm. And I watched him. And he said, I'm just trying to be like you. And uh, stuff like that. I changed teams. Okay. We won't talk about what teams. Sure. <laughs> yeah, West Lawrence. <laughs> but, and then he would change teams. Right. And, and then I was there, you know, he invited me to the field. And we was on the field and hugged him. But. But it's always been that type of relationship, and uh, it's always been close to a, a guy that, you know, outside of family, well, he's, he is family. And, you know, I used to text him or call him at least five, five out of seven days out of the week. I give him two days off, and <laughs> I, I want him to be in his couple. face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, you know, it's been, it's been something, it's been very hard to deal with. Very, mm -hmm. I mean, very difficult. And, you know, there's days, there's good days, and there's bad days. Right. And the good days are when God has you. And, God always has you, but then, you know, being a human sneaks in and you start being afraid and fear and all the human qualities jump in. Sure, yeah. Yep. Uh, Coach, uh, you definitely have a special relationship with Demarius, mm -hmm. no doubt about it. We're sitting here talking with uh, Coach Paul Williams. We're talking about upcoming Demarius uh, Bebe Thomas Day, July 16th at Southern Pines. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back mm -hmm. with Coach Paul Williams. <laughs> the city of Dublin. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Your city to live, work, and play. When your ability to get up out of a chair, stand, walk, and do routine activities without hurting every day, having to take Tylenol, Motrin, or leave to get through the day, then it's time to come see us. Again, if you're avoiding activities, you're not going to do things with your friends or your family or your children, then you should not let it impact your life like that. We have things from medications to injections to surgery. A lot of people, I think, are scared to come see us initially because they're not ready for surgery. 85% of the people that I see in my office, I'm treating with something other than surgery. It's that small group of people at the end of their disease that are getting knee and hip replacements. So don't be afraid at least to come and let us check it for you. All right, we're back. We got uh, Paul Williams with us still, of course. Uh, Coach, let's talk about the planning into this uh, Bay Bay Day. What all, you know, we mentioned a little bit what we have. Tell us what's going to be there Saturday and just sort of the process to get this, uh, to get Bay Bay Day going. Yeah, it, it, was, basically, it was basically his mother and uh, mother and father came up yeah. with it. You know, uh, uh, once I was doing his camps, you know, I always tried to do something every day. He was a part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, De, uh, Montrose, the city of, you know, Demarius uh -huh. Thomas. Uh, you know, I always try to do something each year to show him how much I loved him. And I would do, uh, you know, the city of Bay Bay, the city of Montreux, home of Demarius Thomas. And, and, and this day, you know, I went to city council, we need to have a Demarius Thomas day and they approved it and everything. So I would always try to do something. One time he didn't know about it, but Dairy Queen donated all hamburgers. You might've ate a hamburger when I'm you sure, was going sure, yeah. on the way out, yeah. but they had little bags, Dairy Queen. They was like, we, you know, we only got one option though. We need him to come by and make some ice cream cones for the kids. He didn't know this, but his, mm. his agent knew this. So I said, listen, and she's like, oh, sure. And we get ready to go eat, you know, the coaches and everybody, and we get ready to go eat. And she says, oh, uh, Damaris, I forgot to tell you, we got to make a stop at Dairy Queen. And he looks at me like, oh, boy. So he's up there making <laughs> ice cream things. So every time I make ice cream now, I think mm. about him. I go to Golden Corral, you know, they got yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, he's looking at the camera. She takes the picture. He's looking at me like, you sorry. You, you know, it, but but it was all fun and games. Right. But, uh 
you know, but but I tried to do something. I didn't realize that the fun day that you, that your daddy helped me so much with. He was a very integral part of that. You know, he was he was my go-to guy. He made yeah. it happen. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. On air, I like to think the mayor. He's not the mayor anymore, is he? He is the mayor. Oh, he's still the, okay, mayor. still the mayor. He my can't, fault. Can't say that. Okay. <laughs> well, so the, so the mayor of Delhi, yeah. you know, uh, uh, helped me out big time. Yeah. I couldn't have made it happen with it without him. And and uh, but I come to realize that all the camps that I did, I didn't realize that actually until he passed away. Mm -hmm. It just I was so into it, like let's get it done, let's do this for the mayors, and had him come on the fire truck and everything. And he loved that, by the way. <laughs> you know he did. Yes, yes. And he goes, man, what you got? You always got me doing something. <laughs> but uh, that last at Delhi Gym was for me, and he wanted to show everybody that's where it started from. Right. Our relationship and. I didn't realize that I'm a little slow thinker, you know, and it just hit me. And somebody said, you, you know, that's why he had a deadly gym. He wanted, you did all those camps for him. And he just calls me up and they say, uh, you know, he just, hey, hey let's, do, let's do it somewhere different. I was like, oh, it's always at West Lawrence. And man, we got 400, 500 kids and I got people, we got it rolling. He said, I want to do something different this year. And I didn't read between the lines. He was trying to show me, hey, this is where it started. Yeah. And I just want to play ball one more time. And me and you cut up in the gym. You know, and, and and of course when he came, we talked about it. But uh, so so, you know, we always want to try to do something. But uh, you know, this is this is his day, and and you know, it's Demarius Thomas Day that that we put in the pro uh, proclamation of Demarius Thomas Day. And uh, you know, I just hope the city comes out. I'm I'm pleading that the city comes out and shows a lot of support. And and, and like I say, just just whatever you're doing, uh, you know, give one or two hours just to come out and right. show love. Yeah. And, and, and a big smile. No doubt. I mean, I didn't even think about that earlier, about the deadly gym. I mean, that is pretty powerful to, to have that baby day back at the gym. Yeah, and, 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 and especially since it's the last one that we had. Right. And he wanted to make it a fun day. And, you know, he was, he's, he was always a kid at heart. Uh, you know, we went to his house, stayed six days one time around Halloween, and he says, come on, come on, coach, we got to go. And it's like, where are we going? It's the night before a game. I think they're playing the Green Bay Packers. Back in the day, might be a big game. Yeah, might it be. might be a big game. He had a huge game, and uh, but he says, "I said, where are we going?" He said, "We're going to get candy." He's like, "I'd be at the hotel because the team would have to stay in a hotel the night mm -hmm. before." And he went candy, and they, they were all kids are coming trick or treat. And kid came up like Demarius Thomas, which I thought was the coolest thing. Demarius, you know, it was. Sure. And you know, I remember we, we was getting candy, and uh, I was like, "I'm we walking through?" And I was like, "Do y'all know who this is?" And he's like, "Come on, come on, Boogie, stop, stop." And they're like. So he would have to stop. I get autographs, uh -huh. and he, you know, he, he reminded me that's why he didn't. He he never took me places because you know I would do stuff like that. But um, you know, it just didn't hit me that that's why he was he was doing that at the Delhi Gym, which you know it means the world to me right now. Yeah, no doubt. Our uh, coach, we've talked about your special relationship with Demarius, but he also, I mean, uh, your family has done you know Ashton and oh, the, you man. know the rest of your family members. What do they? What does he mean to them? Oh, he means the world. Uh, you know, it's just like, you know, we just moved to Marietta and both, you know, I would go in Leah's room and she's getting her room already. Well, the first thing I see is the, the blue Demarius Thomas mm. shirt and yeah. jersey and she puts that up in the room and she has a Bible verse underneath it. And then of course, Ashton's got the man cave. He's the older kid now and, you know, fat head of Demarius and we got a little frame where we stayed the six days with pictures. Yeah. And, you know, he's got all kind of stuff of Demarius Thomas in there. And, you know, my son always thought, uh, you know, that, that, that he was, he was on that, that nobody was better than him. I mean, I, you know, Kyle Corbett used to play for the Hawks right. and, yeah, yeah. you know, it, it, we went to the Hawks game and he's looking at his program and he goes, Kyle Corbett, six, six. Now he knew baby was about six, four. And he says, bet his hands ain't bigger than Demarius. I said, Nope. Nah. But I mean, he would see the beams at the hotel and he would ask me if Bebe could touch that beam. I'm sure he can. <laughs> and, and, but, but that's what he thought. And it's because of the attention he gave him when he was young. And, uh, you know, one time at Georgia Tech, they're playing Florida State. And we, we, we come up and I see the Georgia Tech bus. So I called Demarius. I said, hey, I see your bus. I said, we're going to get the hotel right beside you. And he doesn't say, coach, man, I'm so glad. Where's Lori at? And, you know, it was just Ashton then. It wasn't Leah. And, and he says, don't tell Ashton, but I'm gonna come out the side door. So I said, okay. So I didn't, I didn't know what he was gonna do. So the team is getting ready to do a walk, a walk around yeah. at Tallahassee. He comes and grabs Ashton and he throws him up and plays with him. Well, then it's time, it's, now it's time that they, that they get on the bus. And he doesn't hug me, doesn't hug my wife. 
he says, actually, you want to ride on the bus? You know, little kids, they get a little nervous. And he's like, no. And then he, he hugs me and hugs Laura and says, I love you. And gets on the bus. But that's who he was. I mean, and one time we had a cookout. He calls my wife and says, I got to have some country food. Good country food. Steak, mm. collard greens, salad. And he just went on and on. So, of course, my wife did it. Right. So all my family comes over. My daddy, my mama, my sister, my brother, Coach Jackson. And he comes flying in. My mother, the house we lived in, Tanglewood in, in, in Dudley, uh, is a three three level house, and she's she comes out on the bow, the the porch, which is the second level. Yeah, yeah. And I always remember this. I'm standing on the bottom because I know he's coming. He's texting me. He runs past me, runs up the steps, all these people, and hugs my mama, and I'm just like, <laughs> you know, that that's yeah. who, that's who he is. Right. And, and that's what a lot of us don't do. I mean. You know, me, I'm going to, you know, if I'm in that situation, I'm going I'm to come hug coach, you know, first. I'm right there. But, yeah. you know, I think he always knew, he always knew who who, who wanted, who, you know, who was special. Mm -hmm. he, he knew who was special or, or who wanted to feel like they were special. And, you know, it's just like the state championship game. You know, I'm, I'm sure you've heard this story. We won a state championship at West Lawrence. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I mean, there's there's fans outside. There's cars everywhere. The bus is just pulled in, and man, everybody's hugging everybody. It's the greatest thing. And you know, we worked so hard to get 80 something games a summer, and man, we just rolling. And man, it finally came true. And I still can't believe it. my head is killing me. And you know, we do Coliseum. It was the last game at eight something, yeah. so we're getting back late. People are partying. Man, it's the greatest day at West Lawrence, and I just can't believe it. I'm trying to, you know, praise God, thank you for everything, and. So I'm going to go inside, and I'm going to put my stuff up in the office, and I say, hold it. Where, where's, where's baby at? So as I go in, I hear a ball bounce. So coaching in me, I go, I know somebody's not here trying to play ball, and we just won a championship. This ain't the time to do it. No. So I open up the door, and I'm getting ready to just explode. Get out of this gym, because I thought it was some of the fans in there playing ball. Yeah. You, you, you don't disrespect that. You know, you right. don't disrespect the floor if you're not a player. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't, oh, especially yeah. after winning a championship. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> I'm with you. And it's Demarius Thomas, and he's in there with, you know, my stepson, Jackson, Jackson mm -hmm. Tipton, and they're playing ball, and I just stand there in the doorway going, seriously? And then I hear the story, well, you know, at the celebration at Georgia Tech, Peyton Manning gets on the screen, and I'm, they do a video before I talk, and he says, you know, we win a Super Bowl. He said, and all of a sudden, I'm talking to a reporter. I said, oh, shoot, where's my son? Where's my son at? He says, I look over there, and Demaris is pushing me in the laundry buggy. And I'm just going, wow. Tenth grader. Right. Super Bowl champion, West Lawrence champion, Super Bowl champion. He's doing the same thing. But that's what he did. I mean, I've heard so many stories that uh, throughout this process of, of him uh, passing away that, you know, he did the same thing he did with Ashton. He did the same thing we did with Leah. It wasn't, you know, kind of hurt my feelings, but <laughs> it didn't. I mean, yeah. he did that to everybody. Right. Decker, Decker's, you know, kids, Peyton's kids. I mean, Tom Brady. I mean, all of them. And it's just, it's just, you know, as this process goes on, you hear more and more stories of how great he was. Right. I mean, Coach, it's just the kind of guy he was. Like you, you, from the stories you're telling, we we can see, you know, he was just a humble, down to earth guy through the state championship and the Super Bowl. How, how was, how do you think he was able to do it? I don't. Well, I've come to this conclusion, and, and I hope I'm not, you know, hurting anybody's feelings by saying this. I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a true believer. I'm a Christian, and I understand that God is the Almighty, and right. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I mean, there, there's no doubt through the process I've been through, and but, you know, He's born on Christmas. Yeah. He lived 33 years on Earth. Jesus, they Jesus say. 33. And I'm not saying by no means He's Jesus Christ. No. Now, no. You know, some people misunderstand that. But I just, I told his mama this last, yesterday. Uh, I, I think, I, I know that God sent us an angel. And he was an angel in the sky. And I always told him, you're somebody special. And, and I would always say, you're born on the same day as Jesus, man. And he'd be like, stop doing that. Stop doing that for real. He said, he said I'm, not that, I'm not that guy. But he was. And I think everybody sees it now. And, and you know, we, we, we want Bebe to be 50 and 60 and get married and yeah. have kids and be a part of it, but he's in a better place, uh, you know, that, that we're all trying to get to. I mean, we're just passing through this earth, on earth, to, to get to heaven, and, and, and that's, that's where he is, but that's just the one of the few stories. Right. Uh, just one of the few stories that, that we can talk about, Demaris Thomas. I mean, 
Like I say, I could talk all day long about them because there's, there's, there's more and more and more and more, and I probably haven't even told the best ones, but that's just who he was. Right. And he, he was definitely different. Yeah, there's, there's so many stories, and we could, we could do it for hours, I'm sure. Yeah. Man. But you have mentioned that he, um, not just Lawrence County, the guy everywhere he went, always, uh, you know, help people out, no doubt. Mm -hmm. So, Coach, let's bring you back um, to Saturday. Okay. Um, if we need, where would we be able to find any information about Saturday? Well, um, we've got a, a pamphlet out that's on Facebook, gotcha. Daenerys Thomas Day. And, gotcha. Uh, you, you know, you can go on my Facebook page and look at Paul Williams, or, uh, you know, you can you can find it. I, I'm not sure where else is at, but, but it's going to be at Southern Pines and, uh, you know, there's gonna be all kind of events at mm -hmm. it, and uh, like I say, the, the main the main purpose is, the the main purpose is we're we're given you know in in this life, you know, it, you know it's time to give. It's time to give of yourself to a very special individual uh, that definitely deserves. And, yeah. and like I say, the only thing, the only thing that Demaris wanted was to be loved, and he just wanted everybody to smile. And he he didn't care about money and. He didn't care about. And he liked winning championships. But, sure, but yeah. it was. It'd be honest. I'll be honest with you. It's like I told you earlier. You know, it's, it's all that's good, but you got to have somebody to share it with. That's what makes it important. It's just like me and you sharing stories. I can sit in a room by myself. If I tell these stories. You know, <laughs> doesn't mean as much as I'm telling yeah. you about it or or everybody else about it. So let's just come out next Saturday, Southern Pines, and uh, you know, let's just show. I, I wouldn't say support, because really not support. Let's just show love. Show love. Let's yeah. show love for Demaris Baby Thomas, and you know he's a legend. And it, you know, the, the, I always try to say this to people: he's a lot. He was a better person than he was a player, mm -hmm. and that that says a whole lot. He was a pretty good that, player. Yeah, yeah, because you know we're we're really trying hard for him to be in the Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. and you know he definitely deserves it. Definitely. And, you know that was our ritual. I, you know, I'm not a football guy. I mean, I only watched because Demarius played. To be honest with you, sure. sorry for football fans, but nah. I like Georgia Bulldogs, but yeah. I don't know much about it. But uh, you know, I know they won. But uh, <laughs> but but I'm just saying, uh, you know, we just need to show love, love, uh, you know, for De Demarius. No doubt, no doubt. So let's come out Saturday, ten to two o'clock. Is it, that right? Yes, it's ten to two at Southern Pines, and we're gonna have the balloon toss yeah. in, in honor of Demarius, and and and, and there's just no telling what's gonna happen because. Uh, you know, I've, I've got all kind of signs from Damaris that I told you about earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, the temperature being 88 and people rolling yeah. down the window and, and doing Damaris Thomas sign as we drive into Atlanta. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's been all kind of things, you know, that God has shown us that, that uh, you know, Bebe is still with us. He'll always be with me. He'll always be with a lot of us. And, you know, he just won't be here. You know, uh, I'm supposed to go. You know, I got the honor of uh, going and talk to the Denver Broncos yeah. as they're going to do an hour documentary over his life. And uh, they called me up and they're going to fly me out. And I'm going to stay down there for two days and talk just like I'm talking to you. Yeah. So glad to talk to you yes, first. Sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so and, and you know, that was a big honor. And it's going to, it's very humble to, that I, I was chosen. And, but it's going to be very sad because, you know, mm -hmm. when I'm used to, usually flying to Denver. I'm going to see Demarius yeah. just like the Demarius Day. You know, he's not going to be there, but he he is going to be there. And uh, but uh, you know, let's just show love. That's, yeah. that's what it's no all doubt. about. Yeah, uh, Coach, we wish you the best of luck in that. Uh, big, thank you for uh, having me. I appreciate Denver you. Broncos interview. So let's come out Saturday, 10 2 p.m. Southern Pines. Show love for a guy who uh, gave so much to this community, and he was always showing love. Uh, a great guy, Coach. My pleasure. Thank you for being here. Okay. Uh, even though you're up there coaching them Yellow Jackets up in okay. Marietta, we'd love to have you okay. back down here. All right, yeah. All right, thank so, you, yes, sir. sir. Appreciate Anytime. you. Yes, sir. So come out Saturday, 10 to 2 p.m. at Southern Pines, Demarius Thomas Day. You're watching TV 35.